So today I'm going to do a short video on car seat covers. The covers that I chose for my Prado GXL. Uh, let's take through it very quickly. Bit of a disclaimer at the beginning here. I wasn't paid anything and uh, I haven't received anything in return for this video from any manufacturer. Uh, the reviews that I'm going to give is totally my own uh, as an independent buyer paid full price uh, for these items and I'm just reviewing them just to let you know what I think okay so I bought the GXL version of the Prado 150 2021 model the I, I didn't opt for any additional seat um, upgrades um, because uh, I want to keep the vehicle for a long time and I have kids and I think the only real answer is covers and you know after five years I can replace the covers I think even with leather seats I've, my other car's got leather seats and they, they, they show their wear and tear after years um, so I'm hoping this will be better anyway so I am the nod a lot about which covers to go for a massive price range in Australia from you know under a hundred bucks for the really cheap Chinese stuff on eBay right up to uh, seven eight hundred dollars potentially uh, yeah you know what I've seen car seats that are all saggy and horrible and I thought well you know I spent a lot of money on a car maybe I should get some decent car seat covers and we'll see how we go I've had cheap ones in the past and yeah they all do look pretty horrible so it's it's a difficult one isn't it because you want seat covers to look the same as the seats if not better um, but generally they never do anyway the other choice I had I noticed that there's stuff called neoprene out there and the neoprene seat covers you know advertise about water and water resistance and stuff like that you know going to the beach well I don't know about you but most of us family life again I've the, our vehicles used for for everyday use. Kids in the back, um, not really wet. Water's not a problem. It's dirt. It's ice cream. It's chocolate. It's mess that the kids make when they're eating. Yeah, I'm afraid they do. That's the real world that we live in. Anyway, so I'm just wanted something that I could either wipe clean or at the end of the day, hard wearing, looks nice but I can replace in years to come if it really uh, becomes an issue if I can't wash and clean them. So eventually I went for the neoprene seat covers as opposed to some of the others, the canvas ones and some of the other stuff. The reason for that was knowing a little bit about neoprene that it's a little bit stretchy. I had hoped that it would uh, stretch a bit nicely over the seats but actually look a bit better. And the pictures that I saw online of neoprene seat covers look pretty good. I was quite impressed. So I thought, you know, what the hell, and it wasn't cheap. I bought these covers from uh, super trim so um, these are super trim uh, seat covers if you can see there yeah um, super trim got a lot of good reviews online made in Australia so if you're in Australia this is more relevant to you they weren't cheap and nothing is in Australia um, but I thought I'd give them a go anyway so they're on the car now and I have to say they look better than the standard cloth seats on the GXL. The standard cloth seats on the GXL are pretty bland, not great. But I actually think these look better. Anyway, that's my own opinion. You may differ. Uh, I went for the, I think, black with the silver thread on it. Um, very, very easy to fit. A bit of a tip when you fit them. Obviously, you take the headrest out. But what I suggest you do is line up these holes with the top first and then put the headrest back in. Obviously you've covered the headrest at this point. Um, and then what you can do is you can roll it up to the top, to the shoulders of the seat and then start rolling it down. And that way as you start to pull it down you can, you can twist it and stretch it and get it straight before you roll it all the way down the seat. Uh, roll it all the way down the seat. Um, there's no ties on this, so uh, you're telling me why doesn't it come out? Well, they've got quite a clever design, and I'll show you hopefully in the back here that uh, you probably can't see it, but under here, um, underneath the seat, yeah, you can't see it, I'm afraid, but underneath the back of it, it tucks through the joint. 
so it's got a thick piece on it a big thick uh, thick piece along here that pushes down and through I'll maybe show you on the back seats in a minute and you just push that through and that holds it in place and then the front bit because it's neoprene it stretches and it stretches quite nicely so it stretches around the front of the seat and you tuck it in behind this plastic slip here in there you just tuck it in and you pull it around the front tuck it pull uh, this one's been on a week uh, yeah and that's it basically you just pull it around and it holds itself tight because it's slightly stretchy and also with neoprene it, it grips a little bit so you know it, it, it's yeah it's looking good as I said it's been on a week so in the back again so I'll take you to the back so I did I went for the two rows um, with the kids in the back obviously very important they keep messing around with the seats which doesn't help um, I will say I was quite surprised and I didn't appreciate when I bought it that because the Prado um, you can move the seats forward and back uh, you can the seats also move independently so the single end seat on the passenger side can actually move independent of the middle and the driver's side rear seat and they move back and forward and so the covers actually allow for that the covers also allow for the center armrest and uh, when you pull the center armrest down it uh, I got the one with the center armrest cover so that uh, that is works there um, and then you can actually have the whole center section so the whole center section still comes down and yeah look it's it's a little bit difficult because obviously it's all over it but it, it, it does work um, it protects it and it's not something you move every day unless you've got my kids in which case they love playing with it um, but uh, I would say that the only thing I will say and this is where you can see the bits that tuck in is if your kids play with that center section all the time the middle bit does come out um, so maybe and these are the uh, these are the thick bits that tuck through okay so this is what you push through and it grips it underneath so I would say to super trim that maybe you need to think about this center section on the Prado because if you have kids who mess around like mine do every time you put this center piece down it does actually lift out that one but as you said it's not something you do every day um, but my kids seem to do it rather often seat belts obviously stick through quite nicely I'm very happy about that um, so it's, it's, it's great um, so this one looks feels like it's come out again so the kids have been playing with the seats so I uh, just have to tuck these back in and as I said my kids keep playing which is a little bit annoying um, the, the catch at the top there's a hole in there to retire through um, loose un undo the seats which is good uh, and it came with obviously the headrest in the middle all three headrests for the back row I went for the rear pockets on the on the drivers and passenger seat so the map pockets are there as well so uh, yeah look it's uh it's a seat cover but it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it I have to say um, it, it, it'll obviously settle down over time and get a bit looser I appreciate that and it's not helped by the fact as I said my kids keep moving the seats all around all the time but uh, very pleased uh, good product good service turned up quickly very happy with them um, they look nice